Yo, what's good, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well today, and welcome to another episode of Staying in D1. As you guys can see, we're at nine points now, and we lost our first game of the division in our previous episode to a full Brazilian team, and you guys know I always struggle against full Brazilian teams. I have no clue why, but it's something that always gets me. I think I just psych myself out or something, but before we get into our first match here, I started doing some club maintenance, or squad maintenance, rather. You see a lot of players here are in the 80s of fitness and low 90s and I really should have just played a squad fitness card but I tried to go with saving coins and played the single fitness cards on a couple of players and I really think that was a mistake anytime your team is in the low 90s or 80s I really feel you can tell the difference to be honest with you guys I know a lot of people say oh 90s fine 91 is fine but I think on attackers you really can tell the difference so it was a mistake for not just playing that squad fitness card I was just trying to save coins. And I know a lot of you guys always say, why don't you just have two teams? You'll you'll be able to alternate teams in Division 1. It'll be more fun for the fans. And I, I think I should probably do that. I really don't have a reason why I don't. Um, I just wanted to spend all my coins on one specific team rather than splitting it up between two teams. But in any case, we'll try to do that maybe for the next run through Division 1. As we come up against this opponent in the 4-2-3-1, he's got a nice Russian League City a hybrid. And he's got the same attackers as I do for the most part. He's got Eto Traore there as his striker. And again, I've been really disappointed with Traore. I'm not a big fan of his work rates. But it's going to be him who's going to be on the attack early on in the first half. City, you what a save there to keep things deadlocked at nil-nil. He gets a corner this time just inches away from missing that one. Luckily, we bat it right over the crossbar. He gets another corner, but Treore cannot outmuscle Chiellini, cannot outjump Chiellini, and he ends up scoring the first goal of the match. A nice one-two sequence here with Eto, completely burns Chiellini, goes for a shot on goal. His keeper makes an excellent save. Luckily, Dani, right place, right time, squeezes it right under Marchetti, and we can end up getting the equalizer in the 27th minute of the first half, but he was still on the attack and I was playing some terrible defense. As you guys can see, I'm backing off him a little bit too much here. I'm giving him way too much space, not pressuring the ball at all, and eventually he's going to get the ball to Vidal. Dani Alves is barely going to touch him. Vidal just flops over and the ref calls penalty. What a diver, but he ends up getting a penalty, and the ball don't lie, as we end up saving the penalty, and the momentum shifts, now we're on the attack, but I make a crucial mistake as I get rid of the ball with Troy here, bad dribbling, Dramatinho, I'm all over him, he takes a strike, and it just floats to the top right corner, that's just heartbreaking. You save a penalty, you try to get him on the attack, and look at this strike. Look at this finish. Woo! No keeper in the world would be able to save that one. Second half now, we try to go for an awkward angle there with Nani. Doesn't work for us. He makes the save. We end up getting the corner kick. We've been pretty successful from corners as of late. Try to get this one to Ferdinand. Can't get it through. The keeper almost mishandles it. He clears it with ease. Very smart play from my opponent. He was playing some great defense. I cannot say anything about him. Another chance here. Look at Hulk. No one marking him. And he takes an awkward shot at it. Just slides down. Nothing for us again. And he gets us on the counter. Traore with a bad touch. And luckily we defend that one well. But at this point my team was heartbroken. Everyone is just feeling just down. All these missed opportunities. He's going to cross it in. Thiago Silva makes the save for us. Heads it out. But bad dribbling. Just like the first half. This time it's Addo. What a strike. What a finish. My team just with their hands on their hips saying, what can we do? All these chances, we keep making these mistakes, and that's what FIFA is all about. you got to minimize your mistakes. I've made two huge ones, and I find myself down 3-1 after having many attempts on goal. Still trying to attack. Maybe I'll come back here. Nice bit of passing all the way around the pitch. Dani, nice little trickery, and can we come back? 86 minutes, we score one more goal, 3-2 is the score, get the ball, hurry it back, hurry it back, run it to the middle of the pitch, but ladies and gentlemen, my heroics were not enough, too little, too late, and we find ourselves losing our second game of Division 1. Three wins, zero draws, two losses now. Ooh, things are not looking good, guys, things are not looking good, we might need to make a team change. 
So let's hop into the next game and see what we got. But guys, after some thinking, I decided not to change my team. I said, let me just fight for that Division I title with the same team. Fight for our Division I dreams as we go on. And our next opponent, a 4-4-2, mostly BPL team. And he's got City, two City Out players, his keeper and his center back. But it wasn't until late in the first half we get a shot on target with Carrick. His left foot from far range doesn't go through and we get a corner. As I said before, we're pretty, we've are pretty, we been pretty good from corners. Hulk's going to deliver this one. Eto unmarked just knots it in with a simple beauty of a header. 38 minutes in, we get our first goal of the match. 40 minutes in now, right after we score. Look at Eto, completely goes unmarked, beats his offside trap, and that's just too easy of a finish again. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, a nice step over, reverse step over, gets it to his left foot, puts it in, and that's going to be 2-0, 41 minutes in. And again, back-to-back to back attack slick passing here from my team nani's gonna go unmarked lots of space takes a shot and he scores for us 43 minutes in three nil three goals back to back to back what an onslaught of attacks there still attacking in the second half now over the top through ball to atto he tracks it down chips it over the defender Traore out muscles evra takes a shot doesn't go for him gets right back to it but a bad shot on goal that one's not gonna go for us he's on the attack we're defending really well keeping him nowhere near our box here and we get him on a counter who's it gonna be one more time this time it's not gonna be Eto. it's gonna be Dani with some nice work over the top through ball doesn't work falls right back to him that's too much space what a shot the Portuguese men are just doing work this game we end up winning it 4-0 completely dominated my opponent taking out my anger from our previous loss and thankfully we are going to stay in d1 that's for sure but are we going to be able to win the division one title i don't know guys things are not looking good for us this run we've already lost two games something i'm not really used to i don't really lose this early i'm able to at least get three or four in a row that's going to be trouble. We're going to have to see what goes on in the next couple of episodes. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see daily FIFA content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, what else you going to do? Catch you guys all tomorrow.